Good everyone, Liz here from BG Trading and I hope you are well. Today is 7th of December 2023 and I'll be analyzing ZIP which the ASX code is ZIP. This is a stock that we have been trading many times since 2020. The stock has been incredibly profitable for us and our VIP members over the last three years. Uh, last month, about one month ago, I actually issued this video here talking about Zip, Sizzle and Tyro. Those two stocks would be prone for a rally. And didn't happen otherwise with Zip uh, last few weeks, which the stock has definitely uh, risen about 50%. We're going to look into uh, ZIP, whether there is a further upside and whether we should uh, potentially take in profit out of the table or even buy more. Obviously, remember, this is not a financial device. It's just us from BG Trading sharing how we apply our strategies to chase 20 to 40% within one to three month lead time. Let's have a look. If you like the way we trade, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with someone that you believe would be interested. I also like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community, Buy, Grow and Sell a Strategy for Share Traders. We post a lot of great quality content into this community, including some of our results, which today we had the opportunity to uh, profit 35% in ZIP together with some of our VIP members. And we also have been uh, able to lock some of the profits as well. We have Remelius, uh, a gold producer, at 22% uh, profit in late November, then the Cleaneville at 20%, then City Chic Collective, 30 of November as well, uh, 20%, then Resolute Mining, 26%, and obviously Cezo, which was one of the stocks that we mentioned that was prone for a rally, also about 28%, and ob obviously a few other opportunities. We also took stop loss in, uh, in Pilbara uh, at uh, $3.50, uh, and also in Colithium at $0.32. Cents. So obviously we protect our positions as much as we can, but when we can profit, obviously we take all the way to 30 to, uh, to 20 to 40%, where the stop loss tend to be a lot shorter, generally from five to 10%, that's the ideal. Now let's kick off with, uh, I actually put together this email for our uh, members and I wanna share some of the uh, big highlights here, whether obviously say, uh, to understand a little bit why uh, this stock, why Zip has a rallied uh, 25% today. Obviously, this today particularly, it's not necessarily uh, linked to what we are going to uh, uh, we're going to explore in this uh, in this uh, email, but it's part of that. Let me just uh, go through and you understand a little bit more. So back in 2022. Uh, that's when Fed start hiking interest rates in April and then the RBA in May. And then we start seeing a, a huge sell-off in ZIP uh, by uh, October 2021. As you can see here, October 21, big sell-off. We took stop loss at $6.40. I think it was around between $6 to $6.40, some, some around there. And at this bearish intersection, that protects us all the way through here. And then uh, after that, we obviously, if you've been following us long enough, you know that we did 100% profit trade on this particular bounce right here. There was a huge rally after this huge fall, which the rally was 280%. We took 100% profit on this 280% uh, rally. So this was incredible, it was last year. Then also we try trade again, we take one or two stop losses along the way, but then now we are back 
with um, a, a, a very positive prospect for ZIP. In fact, today the stock has reached our BGS20 target to 49.5% and even exceed the target closing by 52.5% a, uh, cent a um a share now back into the, the 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 what's happening with that is essentially this is the thing this company is uh, directly related to what's happening with uh interest rates so if uh if we see a monetary easing then obviously we're going to have the opposite effect that we had back in 2022 especially uh, if you have uh, like obviously you're not going to have a like 12 13 uh interest rates cut but we might have uh, maybe three or four which is enough for zip to rally and honestly i think it could rally well above one and even reaching two dollars if it's effectively during next year during 2024 we uh we see a fed cutting rates that's because obviously uh the waterhouse funding the zip uh, needs to run its business will uh, start decreasing cost and then obviously uh, lower cost will increase the margin. So what we expect now, the, the EBITDA is now positive as well in the last quarter and we expect to continue to be positive in the following quarters as well. So same with CESO, I'm not going to focus much on CESO here in this video, but CESO is a even better position. CESO in fact has uh, been uh, reporting uh, positive EBITDA or profitable EBITDA uh, for the last four consecutive quarters. And I am suspect that in February, uh, um, mostly the uh, most of the companies on ASX report the full year in uh, in August and September, but CESO reports uh, in February because it's a U.S. company. So what happened is when CESO report is FY23 uh, results, I'm very very confident that we uh, if we might see a very small net profit, uh, sorry net loss, uh, or even a small net profit but i don't think we're going to see a huge loss as we have been seeing over the last few years and that is together in combination with the fact that we are uh, prone for a uh, interest rates cut 60 percent of the market uh, sentiment uh, believes that uh, fed will start cutting rates in march april next year if the effective happens, then uh, not just uh, uh, CESO, but ZIP, both of these stocks will be uh, definitely take advantage of that. And, and not just CESO and ZIP, but most of growth stocks should benefit from uh, potential interest rate cuts. And uh, and as momentum creates, then we, we could see a further rally as well. Now, at the current chart formation here, so we had this bullish intersection level one here. That's when we really uh, start looking at uh, back to ZIP. And then we saw some very compelling volumes, high volumes to the upside as you can see right here in October and that's when we start to really look closely to to get on board zip uh, zip and then we issue a uh, opportunity to buy we bought some of the stocks and then obviously we see uh, we saw what happened after that the stock went up I even by end of October I did record a video based on the chart formation uh, saying that zip CESO and uh, Tyro was prone for a rally okay that's the video out there if you want to take a quick look again now would i buy zip if let's say we missed the boat here so we, we we're still holding uh our position at least half of our, our half our regional holdings we're now still holding so the question is would you still uh buy would i buy zip right now probably not i would just hold because there's no signs of reversal. So uh, I would hold until we see the first signs of reversal. And that's back to the same video we did about two years ago when, when we did another 100% uh, 
profit on zip so um so hold as long as it is uh trading above this yellow line there if obviously we have we see a big reversal then obviously it's a red flag then we need to uh, uh reduce further or just uh, uh, liquidate the position and try buy back within uh, during the next higher low effectively it will be a next uh, some stage will be another uh, a higher uh, low uh, somewhere around here and that's when uh, people should be looking at potentially adding up or uh, or buying a back if you have sold or if you haven't actually bought the stock uh, and 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 what you need to look at is um, here on the RSI as well so if the if the RSI you see the share uh, share price sort of uh, bouncing back here we see the RSI about 50% close to this green uh, ascendant line here that's when we should be looking at buying more or buying back that's the that's the thing with zip at the moment so BGS 20 target um, uh, reached and uh, exceeded so happy days for us and our VIP members just zipping zip once again um now let's uh, somebody asked me about tyro as well because uh tyro uh, hasn't gone up much the problem with tyro uh, they're still fighting with canada so uh we looked into potentially buying tyro a little while ago but i said that we are going to avoid buying tyro again and the reason is because this uh uh uh, legal dispute with counter which is a POS provider where Tyro is a uh, has a banking license it is a uh, FPOS machine provider so the integration they start charging fees counter one a, a, a customers to use their own uh, uh, FPOS uh, machinery and then a Tyro obviously had this uh, agreement with the counter now the whole integration with Tyro costs a lot more money for customers and then customers start sort of uh, uh, migrating out of uh, Tyro as a pause machine towards a counter uh, payment facility which is much easier than uh, people migrating counter from counter to Tyro's new partner for a POS so you need to register the whole business again on the POS that's probably a weak work then I understand I completely understand that why Tyro has been uh, sort of in uh, uh, in a legal dispute with a counter there is a threat that more legal costs but also there's a threat that if Tyro completely loses then uh, most of the customers that are using uh, a counter in Tyro they could start canceling Tyro and therefore they could start impacting on the upcoming earnings or upcoming transaction volumes uh, in the somewhere in 2024 and if they happen obviously then uh, we might see a plateau on the financial numbers for Tyro and then obviously we might don't see much of a upside from now but again Tyro is a tech company with banking license so you cannot compare to uh, Zip or Cezo. the fact that Tyro is a, a tech company with banking license Tyro also could benefit from potential interest rates cut in US and in Australia if that happens then obviously uh, helps uh, the Tyro share price to go up because the whole sector tends to outperform the only problem with Tyro now and that's why I think I should be uh, uh, I'm not very interested buying Tyro is the fact that they having this legal dispute and most likely Tyro will start losing if you haven't uh, already uh, start losing some transaction volume as a result of this uh, strategic move from Canada guys hope you had uh, fun with this video hope that was valuable so back in zip just to wrap this up more upside uh, possible very hard to uh, to predict how high it can go can go to one dollars can even go to two dollars who knows but one thing for sure macroeconomics is lined up and also fundamentals improving uh, combined with uh, a favorable technical formation finally we have some potential bounce with this uh, high pivot here uh, showing that we had this uh, bounce this breakout of this long-term 
uh, the downtrend on a, on a zip share price. So it could be, uh, well, a sustainable rally. I could maybe hang f around 50, cent, 50 cents range for a little while until you uh, break through the next, uh, the next range with 70. The faster it goes, the more likely we can see a, a potential reversal, which is no good. So we really want that to go in consistency uh, as it is going at the moment with a very uh, low up sides and uh, higher lows, higher highs, in uh, higher volume to the upside, lower volume to the downside in a consistent way. Thank you very much for watching to the end. See you in the next video.